So you finished playing Black Myth Wukong, and this has sparked some interest in what other games you might find interesting from the Monkey King's homeland and beyond. So let's have a look at some games from China, Taiwan and other places that may be related to, similar to, or even feature the Great Sage Equal to Heaven. I'd just like quickly like to note before we start, sorry, but I'm probably going to butcher a couple of these titles or words, you know. I'm still learning Mandarin, but I still suck at it. <laughs> so, apologies. First up, we have Sword and Fairy 7. Yeah, I know, it's the seventh game in the series. But you really don't need to have played the others. And, you know, for some of them, I don't even think it's possible to actually play in English yet. So, don't worry, just relax and enjoy. Sword and Fairy, also known as Chinese Paladin, weaves a tale mixing the realms of humans, demons and deities in a complex triangle of mistrust, hatred and war, wrapped in a gorgeous looking third person action RPG. A new for the series, stepping away from its turn-based roots. For Black Myth fans, not only is this another amazing looking game, which, as you'll see, may not always be the case with the games I'm recommending, but it's also steeped in Chinese mythology and fantasy. And it's a third action third person action title i'll be a little different gameplay wise overall so you know it's kind of the trifecta of recommendations good looking similar mythology and third person action next we have gujian 3 again don't worry that's the third installment in the series it's perfectly approachable gujian sets itself in a rich fantasy world inspired by ancient china going so far as to have some areas be based on like photos or depictions of actual historical sites, which is kind of cool. It has fast-paced action-fluid combat system and lots of variety in the gameplay outside of combat. For the Monkey King fan, it will scratch that mythology itch while offering some fast fighty-fighty combat. Then we have the Matchless Kung Fu. So this is slightly different, but still an action-based game. As the name suggests, it focuses more heavily on martial arts or kung fu in its weird, wonderful sandbox world that grows as you progress through it. And my god, can anything happen? This is one for the Monkey King fans that love the martial arts and possibly want something to spend hundreds upon hours, hundreds upon hundreds of hours playing. Wulong Fallen Dynasty. This game's a visual treat, much like Black Myth is. And it's a fantastic Souls-like. Now, I know there's a lot of debate docking around whether or not Wukong is or is not a Souls-like. But honestly, I don't really care about the arguments. I have no I have no skin in the game. All I know is Black Myth Wukong is kicking my ass, and Wulong kicks my ass. So if you're a fan of getting your ass kicked, then Wulong's going to be for you. Even though it's more Romance of the Three Kingdoms and less Journey to the West. But hey... They both have an awesome Chinese mythological flair, so there's lots of here to enjoy for your uh, BMW fan. Zhuan Yuan Sword, the Gate of the Firmament. Zhuan Yuan Sword is a massively popular, long-lasting series, and it's said to be one of the twin swords of the developer's Softar, along with its Sword and Fairies, which series which I mentioned earlier. And it's known to mix a bit of history and with a massive dose of fantasy. The Gate of the Firmament is actually not one of the numbered entries in the game, but one of their Gaiden side stories, of which there are tons of these games. But again, don't let that put you off, as it's pretty much self-contained. Unlike the previous games mentioned, this one's actually turn-based, with some interesting mechanics around timing and controlling of the characters. As it's not menu-driven, it's more of an active turn-based system. Uh, Black Myth fans will find themselves once again embroiled in a tale of gods and demons. The Tales of Wushu. I'm an enjoyer of Chinese web novels, and I enjoy mostly two categories, Wushu and Zhan Jia. The difference, broadly speaking, being that Wushu is more low fantasy, Zhan Jia being high fantasy. But there is a lot of crossover between the two. Now, Tales of Wushu is more, I hesitate to say, down to earth than the fantastical victorious fight in Buddha's adventures, as it's a lot more focused on the martial arts and battering things like bandits or conquering sects than battling demons and gods. Isn't martial arts what we love about our hairy friend? And this game has a ton of that, along with quite a bit of humour and just general big dose of gameplay and hours to be spent in it. 
it's got a very interesting gameplay system that's actually more of a tactical turn-based affair. It might, it might offer you something a bit different. Next we have Hero's Adventure. Somewhat similar to the Tales of Wushu in gameplay and theme, as it's more about joining sex, beating up other martial artists or bandits or whatever. But in Hero's Adventure's case, this is all wrapped up in a really fun tongue-in-cheek art style and some generally fun writing. So I'd say this, this was one of my favorite games I played in recent times, actually. So I highly recommend it. Anyone that's a fan of martial arts and the Monkey King, I reckon you'll get something, some good times from this. So next, Sayuki Journey to the West. What's more appropriate to recommend actually based on Journey to the West? albeit kind of loosely. Sayuki is a pretty cool tactical RPG with some fun features such as characters like the Monkey King transforming into a monstrous versions of themselves. So yeah, in this game you actually get to play good old Monkey King again and get to see some of his journey to the west. Enslaved Odyssey to the West. This is the second game based on Journey to the West, but it's an even looser interpretation than Sayuki. And it's not set in ancient China, like a post-apocalyptic world overrun by robots where humanity's dying out and there's like machines and sci-fi stuff but you still play as Monkey who is goddamn voice acted by Andy Serkis to explore this strange new world of an action-adventure game <laughs> so go explore this strange new world of an action-adventure game so yeah Black Myth fans this could be a really interesting alternative to look up last game on the list Monkey Hero. This is a fun game, somewhat based on something like a Zelda or Mana game with its top-down action and exploration and puzzles and stuff like that. Like, it's pretty obvious as well that the main character is Sun Wukong. He even has the headband and everything. But it doesn't actually have much to do with the journey to the West, as far as I'm aware. But hey, you get to play as the monkey, so go have some monkey fun. But hey, that's some interesting games that I hope you enjoy. Especially if you're a Black Myth Wukong fan. And anyway, don't forget to do all that YouTube dance, you know, like, subscribe and all that nonsense. And we'll see you again soon.